Hi everyone, Joe Wrights with Marketo Fu, and today what we're going to talk about is lead grading. Uh, surely what you're thinking right now is I have misspoke and what I meant to say was lead scoring again, but no, uh, actually lead grading is something all on its own. Uh, it just is something you can actually do out of the box with Marketo, but just requires a little bit of outside the box thinking. Let's see what I've done there. <laughs> but uh, if you ever heard of like a predictive scoring model like, uh, like a lattice or a... Um, like Everstring or someone like that, uh, they using some kind of integration with like Dunning and Bradstreet or some some other entity like that. They uh, they give you a a letter grade on your leads of you know A B C D, and what lead grading is you can do it just if you have basic lead scoring. Uh, you can you can do a similar thing. Obviously, you get what you pay for. You don't have like the fancy data integrations, machine learning, and all that other stuff. And those are great solutions to look into. But if you don't have the uh, the budget or the authority to get those things. What you can do for a sales organization that is already um, a little more mature in how they handle alerts and how they handle uh, receiving um, uh, just follow-up process when they when they receive an MQL. Uh, what you can do is build in a grading system into Marketo that's a complement to your scoring system and gives them just a little bit more um, granularity around like, hey, this person may have passed a scoring threshold, but there is no way in the eternal destination of your choosing that they are ever going to be able to make a purchasing decision just based on their title. That Those are easy things to skim off the top and make it easy for your salespeople to continue to be confident in the number and quality of MQLs that you're passing over. So uh, let's take a look real quick on my screen. Uh, so before you build out any model, uh, this actually needs to start in Excel, which is right here. So you know, we have nuts and bolts of a basic scoring, you know, nothing really earth shattering here. We have some behavioral scoring, some demographic scoring, and then some negative uh, inactivity scoring, which is cool. Uh, but then over here, we scroll over and we see the beginnings of a grading model. And here is where things start to get kind of cool. And you know, this one is a little sim oversimplified in that uh, just get to get in this example to get the sales organization just used to receiving alerts, they're getting an alert for any threshold, but you could say that you know maybe uh, maybe they don't get them for the D quality leads so basically it's a simple matrix it looks exactly as easy as it is as it does or it is exactly as easy as it looks anyway uh, demographic tiers A being great D being maybe not so much and then scoring tiers 4 being low and 1 being high so the higher they are in this corner the better so you could tier this out where you know anybody in you know B A2 or B2 anyone in this threshold might get an alert uh, you could do it like that or you know any combination but what you're gonna need to do in Marketo to support a grading model like this for behavior and demographic is create a couple custom fields uh, one for uh, behavior grade and one for demographic grade and then uh, have some companion smart campaigns that adjust these based on uh, how scoring changes. So here you see on the matrix that we have the scores lined out from you know 0 to 49 is tier 4 for behavior and then same thing for demographic. I think these pretty much yeah they pretty much all map the same. So in this instance what this would look like is after I create these couple fields uh, I create a separate program for score grading. There's uh, for each of the tiers there's one so one for behavior one for demographic and then in each of these smart campaigns SmartList is simply listening in the case of behavior that scores change for tier one. It pa it gets to at least that threshold of 100, and that was an arbitrary threshold that uh, that we decided for this one instance. And then what it's going to do is simply change the data value for behavioral grade to one. And on the demographic side, similarly, uh, the SmartList is going to say when the demographic score is at least 100, we're going to change. You guessed it the demographic grade to A. So you're gonna end up with a letter and a number combination. So letter in this case is always demographic, number is always corresponding to uh, behavioral score. And then on and on down the line for the different tiers, there's uh, you know some slightly different uh, setup. You know, we wanna make sure the score, if anytime the score changes and falls between you know a certain range, we do the same thing, but it's for a different tier. And then that goes all the way down through tier two and tier three, tier four. Uh, for both demographic and behavior. And then back on this master grading uh, um, smart campaign, what we have here is that uh, if the data value changes for either of these things, 
what we're going to do, either behavioral grade or demographic grade, is change the scoring grade to whatever it was. So default, they start at nothing. And then uh, as their demographic and all that, it has to accumulate to something. So they're going to get at least a D4 uh, by default. But uh, this makes sure that using these tokens here for the lead demographic grade, lead behavioral grade, make sure that when you get over to the database, uh, let's look me up. Uh, I think this one's actually me. So when I look at the lead record itself, what I get bum, 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 is a scoring grade. Well, this should say A1. So that might have been a terrible example from, from my testing, but uh, because there's no demographic grade. Uh, but normally what most leads would get is uh, a letter like that. So you can have that show up on an alert or um, even as a displayed field within Salesforce so that the, the rep going in can instantly know, is this someone I really want to talk to or no? And they don't have to get in the weeds of the scoring. They just have to learn a simple tiered system, and that's basically it. So, um, yeah, that was uh, lead grading in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please uh, hit them in the comments. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the, uh, the Marketo Foo series. And other than that, uh, go and be the nation.